what is up everybody welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here i hope you stay excited about today's video because i know it's gonna help so many of you mamas out there just like it's gonna be helping me this video is going to be about getting rid of that mommy pooch and yes i know i have created life two times and it's beautiful it's amazing my body has done amazing things but it really makes me self-conscious and i know so many women out there feel the same way yes you can embrace it but you can still not love it and i want to fix it i discovered something i discovered that i have something called diastasis recti have you heard of it yeah, me neither. Two out of three pregnant women will develop diastasis recti, diastasis recti, however you want to say it. Uh, a lot of women are not examined by their doctors for this particular condition and it's basically an ab separation. A lot of women are walking around here without this knowledge. And so I came across a physical therapist who actually specializes in postpartum recovery on YouTube. He's a doctor of physical therapy and his name is Jared Beckstrand. Has said himself as a physical therapist that doctors are not checking for this condition during postpartum care. So what happens when you have this condition and you don't heal can often leave us with the mommy pooch, leaking, bladder issues, back pain, and also like painful intercourse. So many of us moms are thinking there's something wrong with us and don't actually discover this until you go to like a pelvic floor specialist or a physical therapist for these particular issues. And it's so sad that it happens that way that a lot of us don't have this information. It can be fixed at home. You can do this on your own. You don't need to see a specialist for this. So for me in particular, I don't have a severe case of diastasis recti so i'm gonna be working on healing my core at home i had put up a poll on instagram regarding this has anyone heard of it and if they have do you know how to fix it and to my surprise a lot of people did not hear about it or they didn't know how to fix it. Figured I'm going to be doing the process myself. Why not share with the rest of you guys? Because a lot of videos I found on YouTube like show the process, you know, from specialists and doctors, but not from an actual mom like me. I wanted to do that for you guys and just share a little bit how I'm going about that. Jared has a lot of free resources on his channel, so I'm definitely going to link his channel down below so you can get access to those resources as well i'm going to be doing his 21 day diastasis recti challenge and along the way i'm going to show you some other things that i'm going to be implementing during the course of the 21 days that i hope that are going to get me results I encourage you to try it with me i will be doing weekly uploads during this challenge As you can see, my breakfast is very simple. It doesn't have to be complicated. It just requires a little bit more thinking. How much protein and the calories? What do you want? I know you're hungry even though you had your own breakfast over there. Okay, so let's see what we're working with. So, although I have lost the majority of my weight, I am still about 14 pounds to my goal weight, which I'm very proud of myself, but this 
is something that I absolutely hate. I know that when you have a baby, your body changes. And I know some things are just not going to go away, probably like loose skin. The goal is to do deep core work to help us heal our core. With all the diet and exercises that I have been doing for the, almost the last two years, I'm not seeing as much definition as I would like. I worked really hard on this. All right, so you have seen what I'm working with and I know so many of you might be like, um, you look great, your belly's smaller than mine. As women, we tend to compare. The reality is I do have ab separation that I did go through two pregnancies and I did also have two c-section major surgeries on my body and my body has gone through a lot this is just me trying to do the work that it takes to heal internally and i hope that this gives you some motivation so yeah let's get into these exercises and i'm also going to show you how to check for the diastasis recti so let's go this ab separation that this boy gave me Okay, so what you want to do is lay flat. We're going to check down the middle from top to bottom. And you're going to use your fingers to be able to see how many fingers of separation you have. Go into a crunch position. I'm going to start off with two fingers. So here is where I have about two fingers. Here is kind of difficult for me to feel, but I don't think I have two fingers. This is about one here to here. Isn't that bad? It can change as you go up and down. Somewhere in the beginning stages of Noah. Come here. <laughs> the length of my workouts core workouts does not mean that they are going to heal your ab separation that they're going to be to recover they're not not all core workouts are the same they target different areas of your core and so that's why this is really so important to share because Many women think if I work on core, then my abs are gonna come back, then I'm gonna lose my belly, I'm gonna lose the mommy pooch. And that's not the case. Not every exercise is going to target the same area. I wish I had known that earlier on. So I found myself with certain videos like when I did the Chloe Ting challenge. If you haven't seen that video, I did it like a couple months back where I did the Chloe Ting two week ab challenge and it was really hard on me. But I did see results, but it's not the kind of results that I was looking for. Stumbled upon this doctor's YouTube. I was just like, wow, this makes total sense. No one ever explained this to me. Because I know so many women um, are like me. And it's so important for moms to learn about this. And it doesn't matter if you had your baby six months ago or six years ago. You can still do deep core workouts and heal your core and it's never too late so join me in doing this i really really hope that my journey is helping on his youtube channel leaves links in his description box so you can get his 21 day workout challenge I have it here and i'm gonna print it out this is free he included this for everyone to get started on for free he also has other programs it's like a total package with um, healthy meals, workout information about pelvic floor. I'm just giving you the free information that I found while watching his videos.
was just looking at all the the information that's included in the program like eating clean um, physical movement which he recommends list workouts which is low intensity steady I don't know but I'll, I'll put it on the screen but for the list workouts there's plenty of things you can find on YouTube to do he has his own list workouts on there which he explains what exactly it is and how it's helpful for moms i just don't have the type of energy to do hit workouts all the time so i just don't have it in me sometimes i'm just so exhausted i cannot do it to myself even if it's just 20 minutes i just dread it i don't like it i don't enjoy it and so i think it's really important to find something that's sustainable fit your lifestyle and i think that is why that's one of the reasons why he recommends the list workouts so I'm going to be doing so this is my plan this is my plan you can do what I do or you can follow your own thing find what works for you I'm going to list workouts three times a week I'm going to alternate between his workout grow with Joe's walking workouts and a stationary bike that I have at home. So that's my plan. I haven't done Grow With Joe workouts for a couple of months now because I've been prioritizing strength training and just getting my steps in. To be successful is to have a plan. Start thinking ahead. Okay, if you know Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, you want to work out, you want to add your list. Whenever you have free time or you have the ability to make free time in your schedule then you know you're gonna use that time to do your workouts it is day two and I finished having my lemon water greens and my breakfast I'm going to get ready for today's workout I am going to do a full body a very short one I'm gonna do like a 20 minute full body workout do like a 20 minute full body workout with weights then I'm gonna do the challenge or no, maybe I'll do the challenge first because that's the easiest part. And then I'm going to do uh, a Grow With Joe walking workout as my list workout. This video is only going to include day one and day two because day is kind of like repetitive. So I don't feel it is necessary for me to film every day. So next week I will be filming again the start of the second week maybe do different workouts say you are my progress okay so it is 10 41 i do not want to take longer than an hour to work out to her page I just like typed in the search bar walking and I'm going to pick one according to the time so I finished my workout in just under an hour which was perfect you don't have to do everything that I did you can break it up throughout your day or break it up throughout the week this is just how I am planning on doing it so I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to follow along with my journey I should be done with the 21 day challenge after Christmas also turn on your bell notifications so you don't miss when I upload another video thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one